The Indian government said that no Indian students are being held hostage in Ukraine hours after Russian embassy in India claimed that Ukrainian authorities were holding up a safe passage for Indians in the war-affected country. Ministry of External Affairs spokesperson Arindam Bagchi said, We have not received reports of any hostage situation regarding any student. We have requested support from the Ukrainian authorities in arranging special trains for taking out students from Kharkiv and neighbouring areas to the western part of the country. Chief Justice of India N.V. Ramana on Thursday said the Apex Court can't do anything regarding the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine as a PIL was filed before the Supreme Court on the evacuation of Indian students from the war-hit country. What will the court do? Can I give directions to the President of Russia to stop the war? The CJI said as the PIL was mentioned before him on Thursday morning. The petitioner's lawyer claimed the students were being prevented from crossing over to Romania from Ukraine. Voting for the sixth phase of Uttar Pradesh Assembly polls began on Thursday. 21.69% voter turnout was recorded till 9am. This rose to 21.69%. 57 seats across 10 districts Gorakhpur, Balia, Kushinagar, Pasti, Sant Kabir Nagar, Ambedkar Nagar and Deoria are going to polls in the sixth phase. Fate of political heavyweights including Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath, the Congress's Ajay Kumar Lallu and Samajwadi Party's Swami Prasad Maurya will be decided today. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will join a virtual meeting of the Quad Bloc today with US President Joe Biden, Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison and his Japan counterpart Fumio Kishida. The leaders last met in September 2021 at Washington, D.C. A statement from the Ministry of External Affairs said the virtual summit will provide them with an opportunity to continue their dialogue and they will exchange views about important developments in the Indo-Pacific. Russian forces have taken over the Ukrainian city of Kherson, local officials confirmed late on Wednesday. Kherson is the first major urban centre to fall since Moscow invaded the country a week ago on February 24th. According to news agency AFP, the Russian forces have also surrounded Mariupol, a strategic port on the Sea of Azov. Reports say Russians are encircling major Ukrainian ports as its forces plod on in its western neighbour. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.